So it's the week back at school after winter vacation and it's early release, so where do we go? If you guessed Universal, you would be right. Welcome. We're here at Universal. It's gonna be fun. We'll just hope that the rain holds off because it's looking kind of rainy. Universal! NBC Grill Brew Pub. Look at all this construction on Twister, or what used to be Twister, soon to be Jimmy Fallon. It's looking pretty crazy. So, all the parades and Grinchmas are over, but the tree is not taken down yet. But all the holidays are over. So, as of yesterday, Beetlejuice had its last show, and already we can see the Fast and Furious construction walls and all the lettering off of the sign gone already. So, I guess in with the new and out with the old already. Here's all the disaster, Fast and Furious walls. And then the newer show here with the fish. They've even got Bellatrix Dagger. That's pretty cool. And then they've got all this neat stuff. Check out that Death Eater mask. About this spider. I love the attention to detail that even in Borgen and Burks they have one of the vanishing cabinets. And I think normally you can hear the birds. That's pretty cool. posters they've got for some quidditch. Your quill. The owl. owl. Yeah, just don't keep your owl in your backpack. Yeah, Brady, be sure to poke a hole in it. Wait, in the owl? That's Wait, no, name, no, 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 right? no, in the back, not, okay. not the owl. Okay, all right, oh, in the oh back. Yeah. Don't poke a hole in the owl. That would be, uh, oh, that would be funny. Though. Well, it would not be a hoot. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> but you don't need a ride anywhere, do you? You sort it out. You want to get your picture? No, yeah, man. Let's do it. How about we say, um, owls? Why Mommy not? Right there. Okay. Cheers. Point out 
out that I'm wearing my cheap seat shirt that I got for Christmas to, to Universal. It's in its proper home to wear it. something. If you see someone with a camera trying to take a picture or a video and then you just get right in front of them anyways and uh, don't really have a care in the world, come on people. Have some care for others. I know that we're all here trying to get pictures and have fun, but there's other people trying to do it. Finally made it to the prop shop. Haven't been in here yet. Looks pretty cool. Got some cows from Twister. How much is it? That's right, folks. Five thousand dollars. Check out this guy. Look at that dinosaur. I think he's from Mardi Gras. So where the I Love Lucy thing was. Now got Hello Kitty store to look forward to. There's the Universal Ball, but we're not leaving yet. We're just going to Iowa. We're entering Islands of Adventure. Let the adventure begin. We're heading into Seuss Landing now. It sucks that you can't see the Grinch anymore because Christmas is over in the theme park. So during Christmas, you can go into this bookstore and meet the Grinch. And usually the line's all the way out there, along the purple. Let's see how crowded the bookstore is when there's not an awesome Grinch. It's completely different too. The layout is changed. So we're in the Lost Continent, and this back gate is open, which it's usually not, and I don't think I've ever been back here, so we're gonna go check it out. Looks like a bridge. I'm thinking it might go to the back of the Discovery Center of Jurassic Park, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's a shot of Hogwarts that you don't get. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, this isn't normally open. Here's the back of Hog's Head also. So behind that is the normal bridge that you walk from Hogsmeade to Jurassic Park. That's pretty cool. Completely different angle. This is pretty cool. So we're back on this bridge by the Jurassic Park and the dock is kind of down there. I don't know what they use that for. But looking in here, I think there might have used to be an attraction because it has exit only and there's some dinosaurs on the sign that goes down to the dock. So maybe a while ago there used to be some kind of experience with the boats. Let me know if you know. So here's where you get into that little dock thing. I'm not sure what that is. So I didn't have my camera and wasn't vlogging when this happened, but we actually met with the trackers from the Tim Tracker, and I went on Pterodon Flyers with Tim because you need a kid that's under 54 inches. And I wasn't vlogging by then, but if you want to go see some awesome construction, go check out Tim's video from about a month ago. It's kind of chilly out today, it's still sweatshirt weather, and this is the last ride I'd be wanting to go on. Look at the construction. It's looking pretty, pretty close to being done. They got a lot of sweet stuff going on. I'm going to step up here. Give you a sweet look. I can't reach over, but there you go. Also, wouldn't be that fun going on this one in this weather. This would be really cool. So being an Orlando and theme park based vlog, let me know down in the comments if you watch View from the Cheap Seats or the Tim Tracker or Jones Family Travels. Just let me know if you watch another theme park based vlog. I'm curious. Um, I guess we can't ride the Hulk today. Not that I normally would anyway. Hey look, I know that guy. It's Captain America. There he is. Check out these awesome 
construction walls for the hole. These are pretty awesome. They're like some old school common rooms. And then they got this one that glows up. That's really awesome. Look, we've got people on stilts. What trip to Universal wouldn't be complete without people on stilts? We're gonna go into the souvenir store because, you know, you have to go into the stores at Universal, whether it's when you get off the ride or just because it's at the exit. That's a creepy doggy for Look at this headwig, it's so cute. It's so fluffy. How much do you think it is? I said 22. 31.95. So it's getting pretty windy out here and it's looking dark. So I think we might grab dinner and head out. So with all the hype of cowfish, we've actually never been here. and It's been open for quite a while, but I think we're gonna go eat there. So we're in cowfish. What do you think it's so far? We haven't gotten to a table yet. I don't know. Well, we're it, walking it looks pretty cool. You can see the elevator when it comes. I'm pretty excited. It should be good. So we ended up doing cowfish. And look at that view we've got. You can see the hard rock. I think you can see Hogwarts. Yep. And where NBA used to be. Pretty cool. We'll let you know what we get. So we've already eaten some, but we got these Parmesan bacon chive herb french fry delicious goodness. We'll let you know when the rest comes out. So I just got a kid's meal. I got the little sliders, apples, fries, and they give you a cute little sushi dessert with a Rice Krispie and a Swedish fish. Dad, what'd you get? Uh, I got some kind of cheddar bacon burger with fries. Nice. It's pretty good. So, we're gonna give our review of cowfish. I didn't think it was good, like, at all. My burger was, like, really cooked, and... And the service was terrible. Yeah, we had, we had a waitress that was very excited in the beginning, and then by the end, she just, like, was very mad at us for no reason. How was your burger? Um, I could get a better one at Five Guys. Yeah, Five Guys is probably better. But, now we know. But the Parmesan fries were really good. That's about the only thing that was good. <laughs> Sorry for the hatred in our review, but it just wasn't that good. Goodbye, Universal. It was just a nice, quick little trip. We came, we walked around, didn't ride anything, but that's okay. We're going to do a pass holders. And then... We had some not so great dinner, but I can't complain. We're here a lot, so. Well, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was a short trip, but it should be a good vlog. We'll see how the editing comes out. I don't know. I don't know what kind of footage we got, but thanks for watching. See you next time.